Good evening, you're watching Thursdays at North. On the programme tonight, the plan for faster trains through Yorkshire is derailed. The government today paused the electrification of the main line from Sheffield to London and Trent's Pennine routes between York, Leeds and Manchester. The danger is that a government using the word pause means shelved. It means not just postponed, but cancelled, put on the back burner, left. Maybe it never returns. We'll hear from a transport expert who says it's a bitter blow for passengers and the Yorkshire economy. First tonight to the government U-turn on plans to speed up the rail lines between London and Sheffield and Leeds and Manchester. The Transport Secretary announced this afternoon that the electrification of the Midlands main line and the Trans-Pennine routes is now on hold. Now this is the first promised transport investment for the North to be put in doubt since the general election and there's fears that more could follow. It's a major blow for transport campaigners in Sheffield and James Vincent is in the city this evening for us at the train station. James, it's over to you. Well, Amy, for all the talk of high-speed rail coming to Sheffield and Leeds in 20, 30 years' time, we're also told that our existing lines, like these, were going to be improved as well. And there's actually anger here tonight that two of our key routes in Yorkshire now won't be impro uh, improved. And there's a fear that pausing this project actually will mean it won't happen at all. This was meant to be the biggest overhaul of the railway since Queen Victoria was on the throne, speeding up rail connections south from Sheffield and across the Pennines from York and Leeds. And earlier this year, the man who wanted to be Prime Minister again insisted it was happening. Uh, you can see some of the improvements already taking place. The electrification of the Trans Pennine line is underway. But it won't be finished, not any time soon anyway. Today, the government used an interesting word. On the Midland Main Line, better services can be delivered on that line before electrification, with such things as speed improvement works, so that works on the electrification will be paused. Well, this is Platform 5, Sheffield Station, where people jump on the train to London. On the boards, they're used to it saying cancelled, on time or delayed. They're not used to it saying paused. Well, when you press pause, it means that you don't do things, doesn't it? And what the, the danger is that a government using the word pause means shelved. It means not just postponed, but cancelled, put on the back burner, left. Maybe it never returns. And that would be very bad news for Sheffield City Region and Sheffield itself. Sheffield is worried that the longer the pause, the more likely it is to be cancelled altogether. The key will be what happens to improve the route without power lines. Certainly the Transport Secretary has talked about speed improvements along the route and other things as well. Uh, whether there'll be any new trains, I rather doubt. I think for a while we're going to see the same diesels trundling up and down. But if they're a little bit faster, it's something. But I would fully agree with anybody who says it's a very poor consolation prize. I think they could spend a lot more on getting transport sorted and integrated rather than making it faster to get to London. The North does have a tendency to get left behind, but uh, 15 minutes, it's, that's personally not worth it. If you're talking about shaving off 45 minutes an hour, yes, definitely. Just weeks ago, the Conservatives were campaigning to win an election with promises based on transport. Today, they've been forced to pause one of their promises. James Vincent, BBC Look North, Sheffield. Well, page 13 of the Conservative manifesto for this election said it would electrify the Midland main line from Sheffield to London. The government will blame network rail, but people here will say it's a U-turn, a broken promise and not what we expected from the Northern Powerhouse. Indeed not. Thank you, James. Well, James Lewis is the chairman of Metro and he's been responsible for transport on the West Yorkshire Combined Authority. He told us the decision was a massive blow. I think what we've seen today is a um, is an a, is a bitter blow to both rail um, to both rail travellers in Yorkshire who are expecting higher quality trains and, and more seats, particularly at peak times, but also a real um, um, a, a, a real bitter blow to the Northern Powerhouse. The Leeds Manchester link is an absolutely crucial part of bringing together the two biggest cities in the north of England with a quick, reliable, and frequent rail service. Trains are overcrowded, not just at peak times, but all times of the day on that route now. Electrification 
qualification was a route to giving us a much better link between two big, big, big players in the um, region's economy and two important cities in the future of the country. And it's, it, it, it sets us back many, many years. Uh, Patrick McLaughlin says successive governments failed to invest and that's why they've ended up in the situation that they're in today. How much of that is true, do you think? We've always accepted there's been a, a real deficit in the amount of infrastructure investment in the north of England. We know that far more money is spent per person in London and the south east than up in Yorkshire. But for the last five years, the current government have been telling rail passengers every time their train fares have gone up above inflation that they're paying for improvements in the railways. Yet people are paying through the nose for the rail tickets and these improvements are looking like they'll be ever, ever further away. How much of a difference is saving 15 minutes on the train really going to make to commuters? Because the government is still saying that they're committed to investing in faster trains and more carriages for North Trans Pennine routes. That's really what commuters want, isn't it? It's not just about how it's not just about how quick the journey is. What electrification was going to unlock was new trains that, that were much longer, had far more seats on, could make sure that the capacity was but there. But they're saying they're still going to invest in that for North Trans Pennine routes. That will, uh, the new trains will have to wait until the electrification is in place. So it's not just about hanging the wires above the track, it's about the new trains that are going to come in and provide the extra capacity for people travelling across the north of England and commuting into Leeds and Huddersfield on the route. It was a hugely important, not just for the north of England, but for commuters coming to Leeds every morning, that we could see the, um, um, the more seats on the trains, more trains, and the trains running um, um, a lot quicker across the north of England for commuters. And people have been paying through the nose for us, been paying above inflation um, rises on the ticket fares every year, um, allegedly to, for improvements on the rail network and those improvements are looking like they're further and further away. James Lewis, thank you for joining us. Thank you.